In January in Swat, Pakistan, the Taliban demand all schools for girls close their doors. The owner of the Khoshal private school, Zawadin Yusuf Zai, loses his business of 14 years. Malala, come on. His 11-year-old daughter, Malala, loses her dream. I want to get my education and I want to become, become a doctor. <laughs> it's okay. While Malala studies at home, the Taliban strengthen its grip on her city through public humiliation and violence. In May, the Pakistani military begins an offensive against the Taliban. We had to leave the town of Mangawara because uh, we had to save our lives. Suddenly there was a huge firing and missiles, so we quickly uh, get our clothes and we put it in our bags and I was weeping that why we have to leave Swat, what is our, we are innocent, what is our sin? I hugged her that don't worry Malala, we will be back uh, to our homes and you should be courageous. Our father told us that uh, this operation will be finished in just uh, two, three days. After two, three days, he told us that it will be finished in one week. My advice was not working because literally she was leaving her home. Within three hours, the family and more than a million others from SWAT are forced to flee for their lives. Just to save their lives, people left each and everything and they rushed out of this city. It was just anarchy and uh, there was no discipline, no administration, nothing was there. Everybody was fleeing away. With no place to live and no way to support his family, Enough. thanks. Zawadin sends his wife and children to live with relatives. He goes to Peshawar to fight for SWAT. Thank you. Peshawar is the regional capital and the front line of Pakistan's war against the Taliban. The militants and the military share an uneasy coexistence here. And it's here that Zawadin settles into a room with three other exiles. Three hours from their homes in Swat. All of the men are separated from their families. Ahmad owned a girls' school in Mingora. Farooq worked at a girls' school. Fazli Maula, also from SWAT, is hosting them. We sometimes we get bored of each other, and everybody wishes to meet his uh, wife and his kids. Six. Uh, this is my aunt's home, and uh, uh, we are living here now. Six hours away, Malala is also living in exile. Yeah, I'm really bored because I have no books to read. I want to go to my swat. <laughs> Malala's been hopping around the country living with relatives, four cities in two months, with her brothers Kushal and Atul and their mother, who can't be filmed due to cultural restrictions. They all miss Zawadin. I love him, we all love him, so we really miss him. Uh, his talks, uh, he... I don't know, but we missed uh, him. Pakistan, come on, come on! Come on, come on! Pakistan, come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! In Swat, these men were the leaders of their community. Now in Peshawar, they organize protests and hold press conferences, trying to pressure the government to take SWAT back from the Taliban. 
खैबर पसीना तोड़े कर खे एज वी से दैट मदर डजेंट गिव मिल्क टू अ चाइल्ड वेन इट डजेंट क्राई सो इफ यू डोंट क्राई यू विल नॉट हैव एनी थिंग स्पेशली इन थर्ड वर्ल्ड कंट्रीज लाइक आस यू हैव टू स्क्रीन फॉर एवरी थिंग Despite their uncertain situation, they have it much better than the million SWAT refugees living in miserable conditions in the camps. Really, we sometimes we feel guilty that why we are here in a comparatively comfortable room. We should have been there. There are reports that the Taliban are using the camps as hideouts and are receiving aid like everyone else. If the refugees return to Swat, the Taliban could return with them. But the date of that return is far from certain. We just listen uh, news and watching TV for the sake of news. What is the date of our returning to our homes? We are missing life. Mm-hmm. We are missing life over here. What Malala misses most is her lost education. I really miss their room in which I have left my bag. I think there to when I will go to Swat so first I will go to their room and I will see my bag and I will then I will go to my school and but first I have to see their room. Her brothers yearn for their pet chickens which they had to leave behind. So the only thing which is missed by my kids they miss their two small chickens that whether they will be alive or they might have died Zaudin worries about the fate of his home and school they're located next to an army base and he thinks they might have been bombed that whether it has been hit or not whether the belongings which we left there they are safe or not we don't know for the last two months months we don't know anything about our home Security in Swat is precarious. When the military came in, the Taliban went out to the countryside. Police have arrested some foreign terrorists, like these men who tried to carry out an attack dressed as women. But most of the 21 Swat Taliban commanders are still alive, including Maulana Fazlula, who issues death threats on FM radio. Abi बिल्कुल सही सलामत हूं और कोई भी हमला मेरे ऊपर नहीं हुआ है ना और जिहाद की इस अजीम फरीजा में हुकूमत की प्रोपेगेंडा पर यकीन न करें द मिलिट्री क्लेम्स इट्स ऑफेंसिव्स आर वर्किंग एंड सिटीजंस लाइक जाउदीन हु आर डेस्परेट टू रिटर्न होम क्लिंग टू द गुड न्यूज़ अल्टीमेटली वी विल बी द विनर and the miscreants the militants they will be the losers i'm hopeful i'm optimistic he is too much optimistic so i don't agree with the, him because uh, the leaders the commanders of taliban are still alive the chief minister of the region hosts a meeting with swat leaders bismillah rahman rahim they're demanding to know when their valley will be safe enough to return to lo khuda etraf sab ko mo Most of these men are feudal landlords who have received death threats and so has Zaudin. Back in May he criticized the militants at a press conference and a Taliban commander called for his life on the radio. Zaudin is so obsessed with the restoration of Swat that at times he forgets about his other job being a father. Today is my birthday and he don't know and I have told him there yesterday that today is my birthday so her message is in English they brought a birthday cake for me My birthday has been celebrated. Now I'm happy from them, but not from you. But Malala cannot resist her father's influence. She no longer dreams of becoming a doctor. Uh I have uh, a new dream. So I thought that I must be a politician to serve this country. Why did you change this dream? 
because there are so many crises in our country, so I want to remove these crises and to save my country. By early July, the crisis seems unbearable. Camps are filled to capacity. Taliban commanders are still alive. Finally, the prime minister makes a long-awaited announcement. The gas has been restored, and even the banks, they are being restored. Jo internally displaced persons hain, unki nabi dena cha raha hoon, ke wo dena tarik se wapas jana shuru hoi We think we will start again our new life, because... Tomorrow, Ahmed will return to Swat. Several days later, Zaudin will follow. Okay. I dream going to school. I dream that when I will unlock the uh, door of my house, belongings which were there, uh, will they be safe or not? Will the chickens, two chickens, will be alive or not? After three months of separation and anxiety, the families finally reunited. July and we are going to our home peg after three months so it's the very it is the very precious day for me but there's one more stop before returning home Zawadin and Malala with other grassroots activists are invited to meet Richard Holbrook what, what, are you from Mingora President Obama's top official in the region how, how old are you I'm 12 12 years old yeah I will request you all, and respected ambassador, I will request you that if you can help us in our education, so please help us. We've pledged well over a billion dollars for economic aid. We're working with your government on the electrical problem. But uh, your country is faces a lot of problems, <laughs> as you all know. The military is still conducting operations in the countryside, and Taliban commanders remain on the loose. But Zawadin talks as if the war is over. This is the day of conquer. We, the peaceful people of Swat, we have won the battle with a sense of victory. I'm thinking about that. Uh, is our home safe or not? There is a fear in my. Uh, in my heart that the Taliban can recollect their, their power. But SWAT doesn't look like home. The Taliban displayed the bodies of its enemies in the streets. Now the military is accused of doing the same. Taliban corpses rot in the sun. You are right now in a car going into a city where you are a wanted man. I have a strong belief that this has a certain time. When it comes, it comes. You can't avoid it. It cannot be a hand in my struggle. When the family reaches the valley, they're overwhelmed. After three months, we are <laughs> looking at the river of Swat. Some of the houses are blasted and they are shooted by the army because they, um, there were Taliban in dead houses. The city is vacant. <laughs> I can't imagine it. How is it? We never saw this city like this. Never at midnight. Never, never at midnight even. This is without human beings, with no life. Really, we don't know what is there inside our home because uh, we have heard that the majority of the homes have been looted by the looters. Oh my God. Come on. It's like a jungle. It's like jungle. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The kids rush to check on their pet chickens. Are they there? Our chicks are died. Oh, very sorry, very sorry. <laughs>
Malala? 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 After she collects herself, Malala checks on her schoolwork. These are my notebooks. Everything is safe. So the chickens died, but you got your books? Yeah. I think the books are more precious. But it's too soon to celebrate. The fate of the school, which has supported the family for 14 years, remains unknown. The key doesn't work. Zaudin is becoming increasingly anxious. Okay. Uh, the child is climbing up and he will uh, go down to the building and he will reopen it. Huh. Let's go in. Oh, so I think uh, the people lived here. I don't know who lived here, but the pe people who lived here are very dirty. This is another room. It's unclear who infiltrated the school. Oof. Was it the Taliban or was it the military? The print of a very big shoe. I can't it doesn't really matter. For the past year, Zaudin has felt trapped between both sides. On its right side, please, Malala. This is the... We just... Oh, please. What happened? Oh, my God. What's this? What are they? They are the heads of some goats. I think uh, they are the bones of the head of a goat or sheep. It has been broken. The wall has been broken to the other house. Someone knocks at the door. Zaudin becomes nervous. No one should enter, OK? Don't op open it. Don't open it. Malala searches for clues to the identities of the intruders. Then she finds the answer. And they have written something in the diary of my friend. This is written that I am proud to be a Pakistani and a soldier of Pakistan Army. S-U-L-G-E-R. He don't know the spelling of soldier. They have written so many poetry. Some love one, some love two. I love one, that is you. And my friend is uh, the age of me. She don't know what is love. So I was very proud of uh, my army that uh, the army protect us. But um, when I see my school in this uh, way, so I'm very shameful of my army. Saudin finds a letter from the army. It blames citizens like him for allowing the Taliban to control SWAT. We have lost so much dear and precious lives of our soldiers. And this all is due to your negligence. Long live. Pak Army, Long Live Pakistan. This is the math class, and now this is not a class, this is a bunker of army. There is welcome to Pakistan. And this is Pakistan. The Taliban destroyed us. I think we should not put out the camera, okay? Because still, the army is very alert. It's been six months since Zaudin and Malala lost their school. Its rooftop still offers a front row seat to a war with no end in sight. <laughs> 